Hello, this is not a spring chick, and yes, the president's campaign, oh, we're talking about President Obama's re-election campaign, is tanking, because, though we were saying, like, the Titanic, which is like, oh yeah, we did our Indiegogo campaign, like the second voyage of the Titanic, but we're actually we're talking about, oh, wait a minute, how do you use executive privilege on things that you weren't supposed to know about? Wait a minute, does that mean you actually knew about it, if you're trying to use executive privilege? Oh. Wait a minute, was there a teleprompter involved? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headline. There, so you're not going to find that pet voice. <laughs> Directionally <laughs> challenged. Yeah. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, I, I, I have to... I, Rex comes out on these days when they have lots of bad news for the president, unfortunately. It was all over for the Republicans, according to the president's campaign staff, until the president of the United States says, I exert executive privilege on all the information, all of the information dealing with the Fast and Furious. Well, you can only exert executive privilege if you are involved in the middle of it. And he is, he, they said he either lied to Congress, or, um, or Eric Holder lied to Congress, or everybody's lying to Congress. The whole thing is, they're, they're lying to Congress, which is basically he broke the law, and what was it that got Bill Clinton impeached? He lied what? to Congress. No, no. What is the definition of is? Yeah, but he only got saved by the very fact that uh, everyone, the Democrats, unanimously agreed that Bill Clinton needed to be t uh, pay a penalty for what he did. They don't like people lying to Congress, but there is no nothing in the law. The same folks, though, I'll get his ears up on this one. The President of the United States cannot be made to stand down if he loses the election because the Congress, the, the people that wrote the Constitution failed to think that there might be an imperial president that would simply decide to uh, gamble that he could bluff everybody out. And U.S. alarm as Egypt army undermines the election result. Because Egypt's military runs the country. They're all generals that take office. They don't elect anybody to be president of Israel that wasn't a former military officer. It is a dictatorship, folks. And Obama holds press conferences with totally nothing to say. Okay, okay. I, I cover his ears again. They told the president he would not be able to use a teleprompter, so the president of the United States came out and he said, uh, well, I don't think we're going to get Chinese support on a resolution in Syria. Um, Putin, we're having a bit of a problem trying to make arrangements to talk to Putin and um, Oh, okay, that's the end for the press conference. They well, said, they said of all of the pr bad press conferences ever held, that ranked maybe as the number one worst press conference, because it wasn't a press conference. It was, uh, I did accomplish something. I just can't tell you what it was at the moment. Are you serious? Oh, God. It was oh, bad. my God. It was really bad. I mean, they, they said that, well, I heard one of the people on the left said, this is one of these press conferences where you would you go. <laughs> yeah. And the news of the press conference is. Oh. Yeah, that was the. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Iran nuclear talks intense, but no breakthrough. They're not going to have a breakthrough. They know they got Obama on the run, folks. They know that Obama is going to sink. If the Israelis do what they think they're going to do, which is attack this fall, Obama is more than likely going to give their to give the uh, Iranians the flight path. I mean, okay, how dumb, okay, I gotta cover his ears again. How dumb do you think the Israelis are? If they tell you they're going to attack north, do you think they're going to attack over the northern area? Mm -hmm. No, they're gonna have, they already made arrangements to park planes on the backside of Iran, so guess where attack is likely to come? Not, nowhere where the president's gonna tell them. Inside, immigration ruling won't be the end of the road. I know, the Democrats won't, okay, you love it. The Democrats are spent. Obama is spending twenty million dollars of federal money, awarded to a person that is a large campaign bundler for him's agency, to convince the people the only way to save this notion nation is for a Supreme Court that does what the people want. No, the people, the majority of the people like the, what the Supreme Court is doing. They don't like Obamacare. They don't like the President of the United States refusing to obey the laws. That are, these laws were written in 1996 that he says are not legal. 
Supreme the Supreme Court. Court has ruled that they are illegal on the immigration thing. So it is the end of the road in reality. And faulty tests blamed for California nuclear plant leak. Well, yeah, because there, what happened was somebody didn't do the right thing. It's just like somebody, you know, like in a bad movie I was in years ago when they thought nuclear bombs were going to offer 10 seconds. They, somebody didn't bother to grease one of the, uh, uh, grease an object, and because they didn't grease an object, it made it look like there was going to be a nuclear meltdown. It was nothing more than a valve that hadn't been greased. This is exactly the same thing, except it's with, okay, here's one. My father was an aide to Omar Bradley at the time the Abrams tanks were coming out. And my father, who was a tank commander in the late 30s into World War II, asked a simple question, because it's all electronics, he says, what happens if the power goes out? They said, uh -huh. well, the power can't go out. Uh -huh. My father said, yes, but what happens if the power goes out? And he said, well, the power goes, can't go out. And then Bradley, who was a general of the Army, he, the said, he, said, Ask the, he said, answer the man's question because he was an original tank commander. What happens if the power goes out? They said, well, it becomes dead in the water. And he said, in other words, a damn pile of junk. Fix it. They put a generator on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's all it took. Could you imagine being out there and all of a sudden you have no power? No power. You're, you're dead in the water. It's the same thing as Asia's... Okay, we're building, we're building destroyers that are totally dependent upon everything that they're working, working off of power. There are no... Um, okay, uh, we're going to try it this way. One of my relatives is famous uh, in World War I because uh, his, his, he basically disobeyed orders. They lost all of the main guns on board the ship, and instead of retreating, he knew the Admiral was in trouble. So he armed every man on board the ship with machine guns, rifles, pistols, and put them along a deck. They let forth fire like you'd never seen in life. They thought, oh Christ, we've got those people got some sort of new weapon, and they fled. But that's what happens if you lose the main fire control on a modern vessel. You're dead. They're going to blow you out of the water. And housing is improving. I love that one. I just heard Bernanke say that. Uh, I hate to tell you folks this. We're, we're in this neighborhood here. There is god awful houses for sale. I go out walking every night because I'm only allowed to have this much of a cigar. And I go out. There are so many houses for sale over there that it is unbelievable. You can't go on one side of the block without hitting four homes that are on sale. And this is like for 20 blocks around me. People are losing their home. Foreclosures are up. You can't borrow money to buy a house. Okay, I don't have any money with me at the moment. I'll wall it, but this is how you buy a house. Figure this is money. Okay, I have this much money. I can pay for it in cash. We'll give you the loan. Gosh. Yeah. And housing. Oh wait, regular regulators seen conflict in a Nasdaq's Facebook mess. Yeah, because the regulators don't know what the hell to do. They know that it was wrong. Everything that was done was wrong. And who in the world are going to, you know, what's going to happen is they're losing, they're going to lose the lawsuits against the people at Facebook. Um, they see that the go, go, you know, all these people that support the Obama administration or in this administration are going to have to pay massive fines because they said they um, overhyped something that should never have been more than a single digit sale. And it's, it's basically going to end up a single digit. Entirely false. Romney refutes, re oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, Syrian forces pound cities as Obama and Putin meet. Yeah, and Putin is basically sending aircraft, he's sending uh, riot control equipment, and he's sending Marines in to teach the people in Syria. And here's the, here's the thing from history, Pope. He who controls the port of Damascus controls the entryway to the Middle East. Mm -hmm. and, and the Syrian, uh, Assad controls the port of Damascus. That's all he has to hold is Damascus and Nothing else, and he controls everything. Relieved, Europe hints at more time for Greece. Well, no, they just printed more money up. That's all they did. You're not. They're, all they're doing is printing money. The money does not exist in reality. They're, they're, every time they print more money, their money devalues. I mean, right now we're almost even with the euro. That's how much their money is devaluated in the last year. And Romney ends bus tour the same way it began, shredding Obama's record. Well, he has no record. They basically have said flat out, everyone agrees, including the people on the left, Obama cannot run on his record because if he runs on his record, he loses. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, sometimes gambles do work.